What's up, guys? Got another cool build to show off. This one going out to Joe. And Joe has... I don't know how many you got, Joe. You got a slew of my builds. So, try to do something a little bit different than what <clears throat> you've had before. So, full silver build. And then... Uh, so, this is one of our laser dials. Uh, that's backside loomed. So, we laser it out. Sand it. Backside loom it. Uh, I did a polished case this time instead of a brushed case with a polished shark tooth and then a matte finish ghosted uh, minute insert. And then since those are kind of in essentially, they're lasered, but they look like they're white. I went with a white handset. Um, clean crown. Brushed. And then this is one of my, I made this a long time ago because I was going to do a whole line of like navigator style, like, I don't know, that kind of flagger style a dial. And uh, made one, and I had made it in the wrong size. So whenever we were building this watch, I was like, you know what, I have a polished, uh, it's 41, but it's a 20 millimeter lug. It's like, I've got that navigator, so that'll go perfect on there. So navigator engraved. Uh, clasp. I think you might be the only one to have one of those. Um, and I did polished like Vostok mods in the first year. I don't know if I did any 670 cases though. So it could be the only case that I've done like this. The only uh, clasp I've done like this. Um, but I thought it turned out pretty freaking awesome. Um, low profile exhibition case back on there, stainless steel movement holder, silver rotor. And of course, I put down my light. So I'm gonna grab my light real quick. So you get a feel of that backside loom. And you will fingerprint this super easily so so there is our loom setup set of white ranger hands it's kept perfect time for I built this I don't know when did I build this I sent you pictures when I built it but I think we're pushing that like 36 hour mark on there uh, automatic mechanical. Actually, let's just go to the bezel. As you know, the bezel will turn left. It'll turn right. It is on there decently tight. You should not accidentally move that uh, bezel unless you want to. Automatic mechanical. So you can wear it. You can wind it. You can put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit. And how you do it is you back the crown off the threads to you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind. And wind is a turn away from you. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to just go back and forth. Then doing this movement where you start threading it back on because you're pushing as you twist. So back and forth, four or five seconds before you put it on. You will keep time throughout the day because that'll be mixed with your rotor movement in the back. If you do it for something closer to 15 seconds, like what I do whenever I'm making sure it runs perfectly through the night, you will max out your 31 plus hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. When you're happy with your winding, pull it to the one and only click, and you can now set your time. It does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. You also notice it's got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement, so if you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure on that stem. If you pull it out slightly, you won't even feel it. Okay, Google, what time is it? Eleven forty a.m. When you're good, push it over, get it out of that time setting, and then wind it down. And that, sir, is your build. That came out pretty awesome. As with every build, you're going to get matching beads, and we want a little extra for you with some matte, some polished some whites in there so 
cool bead setup for you there. This will come in a special edition BVD, BVW silver box. Though you do not need it, I will send you a small bottle of watch clearance. It's going on all glass and metal parts. This watch as a whole, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue, and some fine scratch remover. This keeps this glass perfectly uh, scratch-free as it is acrylic. And you can scratch it, but if you do, put a little bit of this on it. Buff against that scratch using your included microfiber. Don't go with it. You want to push it into it and then polish it. And uh, you'll keep that glass looking perfect. So um, that's your build, man. I hope you love it. Thank you so much for continuing to support me uh, week in and week out. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. So glad I can finally be sending you something. And something a little different, a little new. So, um yeah, and you're tough. Uh, you're you're tough sometimes. So one of these times, you're just gonna have to let me uh, build you something. Granted, hopefully it, it pans out for you. But um, you know, I always give you a lot of options. So you can always take those options away if you want. Just build you something cool. So uh, thank you again, man. Appreciate it. And if you want me to build you something custom, and you can reach out, and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe. So I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.